Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can present the spindle box lesson to your child. The main purpose of this lesson is to help your child understand the association between the quantities and the symbols. Also to reinforce the concept of zero. So let's get started. Alright guys, so here is what you need. You need a traditional spindle box. It comes with 45 spindles. Also friends, stay tuned till the end of this video because I am going to share some of the ideas to do this lesson in different ways with the things you already have at home. One more important thing is, for the purpose of the video, I have put the boxes this way so that you can see the numbers. Otherwise, traditionally, you have to put the boxes this way so that you and your child can see the numbers. So this is how you can start this lesson. First, introduce zero to your child. Say, this is zero. This is zero. While saying, you can trace the number, this is zero, like this, this is zero. And say, zero means nothing. Zero means nothing. So you need not add any spindle here. So you need not add any spindle here. And then you can go to the next number. Ask your child what is this number. If your child says 1. So initially the, the box will be empty. Sorry about this. So the box will be empty. All the spindle box will be in a box. Okay, so if your child, when you ask your child what is this, so if your child says 1, then hand this spindle to your child's hand and ask her to put it. So this is 1, 1 spindle. And then ask your child what is this. If your child says 2, then ask her to trace the number and then we add 2 spindles. This is 1. This is 2 and ask your child what is this number. Then if your child responds this is 3 then ask your child to put 3 spindles. The important tip here is when you are doing the spindles instead of you putting the spindles ask your child to hold the 3 spindles and then put 1, 2, 3 because when they are holding these spindles this will help them process in their brain that 1 is very less and when they are holding when they are holding 9 spindles it feels a lot so so they it will this will help them understand that 1 is very less and when they hold 9 their hand is full and this will help them understand that 9 is a bigger number and 1 is a and 1 is a smaller number Alright, 3 is done. So ask your child to put 3 spindles. 1, 2, 3. And one more important tip is if your child has just started learning math and you can teach 0 to 4 numbers. Those are 5 numbers. Instead of teaching all 9 numbers, just teach them 4. 0 to 4 numbers. And once they are ready to learn more, once they are done with these 4 numbers, then you can teach them until 9. So, and one more important tip is while you are counting 1, 2, 3, 4, ask your child to repeat after you and count through all the numbers. If it is 5, they have to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Let's do it. 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
So we are done with the spindle box lesson. Now you can ask your child to clean up. Clean up one by one. If you don't have the actual material, you can use the small baskets which are available in uh, dollar store and in those small baskets you can uh, use instead of spindles you can use pencils or crayons and also if you want one more important tip is if you want those wiggles out from your child you can place these spindles across the room and you can ask your child to walk up to the spindles bring the spindles one by one and place the spindles in the spindle box Alright guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If so, hit that like button and do consider subscribing. And also share this video with family, friends and parents, whoever may need this. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Always stay joyful and stay humble. Bye bye, take care.